quite early. Yeah. That, was, that was fun. That's a hell of a book you guys got, and I am Thank so you. glad that you're doing a TV show with it. You two are incredible, incredible human beings. I mean, I, I find you all fascinating, funny. I mean, just incredible. And the book is a great read. And I understand that there's some good stuff happening for you, too. Yeah, there Thank is. You, there is. We have uh, some great news because we just got the script out to um, Hollywood today. Besides the script being funny, I mean, hilariously funny to the point where you read it and you laugh out loud, you know, I mean, it's like, <laughs> it looks good, too. I mean, it's in that proper script format, ready for HBO, just how they like it. So we're very excited about it. How many of those stories in your book are you guys personally? Because I know, I know that you talked to a lot of people and got some input. I don't know. We've ever, you know. In, in the book, in the book, the stories were, were anonymously donated to us. And we have, and we have, you know, um, hold Can harmless you, agreements to prove it. I swear. Let me rephrase the question: How many of those stories were you guys? It, yeah, I know There's what you're, where you're going with that. <laughs> um, however, anyway, so, so to get back to your bubble. No, yeah. Um, back to you, Teddy. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, you, you're all guests tonight, but thanks for turning it around. Um, we we can't say. I mean, if we had to say which was ours, we would... We would no, 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 no. I wouldn't, but, but ask, on, uh, I wouldn't honestly, ask you to say which stories were you, but I'm saying some of them are you, right? Honestly, very few. Really? But the script takes a very different position, not, no pun intended, on the stories. <laughs> and, really? And, and the script writer actually is making us take on the stories, which we had a real philosophical problem with at first, but he said, hey, listen... You two have got to get yourselves out of it. These are characters now. And we struggled with that. Yeah. It was really hard said, for us to... I can do it, or well, someone else can write it, and they can make every story yours. And we were like, <gasps> okay, you do it. Yeah. So, so we, Give it we've a been shot. thrown into <clears throat> some of the stories that aren't ours. Mine's the first ours. Yeah, it um, is. It's, but it's hysterical. I mean, I read the script, and I was laughing out loud reading the script. It was great. I can't, I can't wait to see it. I, I've, I've read a, a piece of it. I've, I've actually it? perused some of it when it first came out. i got to say it's hysterical, and I know what they're really struggling with is who gets to play Chuck Palm in the second season. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to seeing that. Kevin James was suggested, and I'm okay with that, actually. I think that would be perfect. Um, you can maybe show some pictures of the characters that they, that they actually they put the, like this cover page on the script, and they have like a want list. It's called a cast whisk. Wish, wish list. Cast yeah. wish oh, list. That, okay, yes, I don't have that. Is that so, on Facebook? Well, Courtney no, Cox they had for Cat. Right, right. And they had Sophia Vergara for me. Sophia Vergara? Vergara. Vergara. Uh, Modern Paul, Family. Paul Rudd. Was it Paul Rudd? Paul Rudd for uh, was Horny it Paul Land. Paul Rudd? Yeah. Horny Land. And um, uh, for Mel, um, I can't remember the name. I can't Gosh, remember I the name. But it's fun. It's just totally fun. So you're going to be Sophia? Well, Sophia's going to play me. Sophia's going to play you. If yeah. she can get rid of that accent. <laughs> well, she would have to. Of course she yeah. can. She would be acting just like a, a lot of the actresses take on parts where they have to practice the acting. But it, it doesn't matter. They'll pick whoever they want. It's just a wish list of what the scriptwriter sure. thought would play the better role. I sure. mean, that, you know, Sophia Bagheera. And who'd they get for you? If you get, uh, Sophia, oh. Sophia is currently oh, displayed on the screen. If yeah, you that's see her. ridiculous. I mean, she's absolutely freaking drop dead. There she is over there. Yeah, I see her. absolutely oh. gorgeous. Look at the look at those Huge. The Himalayas. The well, mountains. The they, hair, have I mean, a separate, <laughs> they have I mean, a separate identity. They have a separate identity. absolutely perfect. Well, doesn't get better than that. Here, how about if we... Uh, She's got a butt that could be little, in your book. We do a little reality uh, paste here of uh, her face over her body. <laughs> what do you think? I like Does that. Does that work? That's beautiful. <laughs> I, keep you know, it there. Just don't bring me back on. Tonight, you want yeah, to just just up there. Keep it. I'm going to move down like this. No, here, I'll just move her up. Being an ass man myself, I still find that very You're an attractive. Ass man? Oh, she's got a Tell us about being an ass man. It's just, well, while it's, Chuck's working on that. You know, being a Cuban and, you See, know, growing up Cuban. It's a problem I mean, for me. You saw a lot of ass all over the place, you know, because Cuban girls were all gifted at birth with ass. And um, so, you know, you grow up being the only one a, that wasn't right here. an ass man, yeah. you know. You know, I mean, it's just, it's a natural, you know. It is. And, and guys that'll tell you that they're boob guys and everything, as soon as you all pass by, the first thing they check out is your butt, man. They're I'm out there checking. I'm telling you, they are. Okay. I, I didn't I'm Cuban, and I didn't get that. Like, I got this, and that was cool, but I did not get well, the butt. Be thankful you got that. No, I'm happy I have that. My sister has the cool, the cool. She does. She, oh, yeah, my sister's got the oh, little. 
My sister's got the culo. She's got the little waist and the culo. There, there's me. Do we have uh, Courtney over here? Courtney there Cox. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it almost good matches job. her outfit. I love that. That's Don't move, Cat. Look, keep your arm right there. Good job. That's perfect. There you go. Oh, that is great. <laughs> great show, Charlie. So you're an ass man. I am an ass man. Well, I'm a gash man, but I like the ass too. Really. <laughs> uh, uh, well, can, could you give us your thought as to what you think about meat curtains? About meat curtains? Uh-huh. No, 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 don't go there. <laughs> uh, talk a little bit about, because you are really, truly a Tampa treasure. And, and for those people who are watching that aren't from Tampa... You just killed my happy subject. <laughs> I mean, drapes, meat curtains, meat curtains, meat curtains. Mud flaps. <laughs> um, Come on. I, uh, the landing flaps, I love them. Oh. I mean, uh, there's three kinds. Oh, my there's, God. No, 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 we got to go. There's three kinds. This, this is educated. There are three <laughs> kinds. There, you know, because listen, after shooting as many as I've shot, I can see, I've seen all kinds. There's three kinds. There's the standard clam that kind of like hides there. Hi, Conyo. Then you got the tweener. Chuck, can you move in on that? Can you see that? The tween- I, I, I believe we have it, but I will do that's the, that's the tweener, and then you got the one that laughs at you, the laugher. I, <laughs> the comedian. <laughs> she, she, she opened the door. I so know she I, opened I'm the door. Sorry, I have to say, there's nothing wrong with a comedian. I mean, the economy is so miserable. You gotta laugh. Really good laugh. You've got to so laugh. You've got a pussy that's laughing at you. <laughs> you can't be. It. It's like a sore laugh dick. Laugh you can't with it. <laughs> Thank you for the audience input. That was brilliant timing. <laughs> so anyway, as we were she's saying, she's blushing. I, I know, am blushing, blushing for the first time. Why are you blushing? Because I don't. Well, know. what do you have? Mine is quite nice. I have to say, I'm no, not no, talking no, about this. Stop! No, no, I'm not no. even going to talk about this. The th- of the three kinds. Stop it! To I'm not. No, you didn't describe mine at all. So let's move on. Um, there was the comedian. No comedian. And then there was the what? No, there's the laugher. Okay. There's the tweener, and then there's the clam. Clam. She's the clan. Yeah. All right. Mm. Well, now that we've established she, she's that, she's got to look at her clan. phone to get, look, she's all to get pictures we've to see totally what it is. Lo- we've oh, totally yeah. lost our co-host <laughs> over here. It's a tweener. Okay. I mean, let it, let it come around. She's coming around. Okay. We totally come lost back. her. Come back. Um, come back. All right. So <clears> getting so back to Julia's original um, question of, of comment being a homeboy, yes. Tampa boy, West Tampa boy. A little bit, Mama. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm horrified. <laughs> anyway, what about you? Um, what about me? Three options, A, th- B, or C. I thought I had gone off prematurely. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, have you ever had sperm in your eye? Uh, once yeah. by accident. That's because I went to move in the yeah. car because somebody was banging on the window. <laughs> nice. You're the first guy that's admitted Shot that. Shot myself. I mean, that, that's happened to me, and my eye twitched for about two days. Two days, yeah. I mean, those what, buggers, what they causes just kept that? swimming. What causes that? It was very itchy. Too. Was it like a pink eye scenario? I had it a little bit like, like a yo-yo dangling from the... I got you. I'm with you. Uh, you know what I went to work, and, and my boss at the time said to me, What's wrong with your eye? And I, I, <laughs> if you have pink eye, go home. You need to go home. Don't yeah. be bringing that stuff in here. Go home. You and your and children. And you were like, yeah, I gotta go. No, 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 no. It was just, I mean, I, you know, I need. I had, it was almost like a little. Yeah, a little. Saw, a little saw a lot of fun until fun somebody fun. pokes an eye out. You know? yeah, right. I was like, oh. So did you go home? Did you take advantage of the lie? I said, yeah, dude. Oh, hell well, no. You know I worked through that, Mama. What, did you explain the reality of what, what was going on? That you well, weren't infectious? Well, I spoke to my eye. I mean, this is wrong. It happens. Yeah, oh, no, I know it happens. I'm, I'm very careful. I mean, sperm happens, doesn't it? I'm, I'm, it I'm happened very to me. Careful. It could happen, happen to anybody. No, no, I know. It could happen to Teddy in the, in the car when, you know, a loaded weapon goes off on yourself, you know. When I heard the story, I, I, now I'm very careful. I'm with you on the droop, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's almost yo-yo. like... It's yo-yo. almost like Someone thinks Botox yes. so much on it. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. If I may interject, I, I, I have to point out that Teddy has more talents than just being an awesome photographer and a uh, radio Station talk show host asses. extraordinaire. The man can croon. He has one of the best singing voices. Oh, oh stop. Oh, you I mean, croon? Seriously. If you've not heard of <laughs> didn't you also write a song the, uh, uh, against some airplay years back? I had to... Um, Blues Image uh, guitarist Mike Panera and myself are cousins. That's right. And uh, we wrote a song for um, his second album called The Image. That was called. It's called It Happens All the Time. And then when he was with Cactus, we wrote a song called Daddy Ain't Gone. 
I, I, I've written about like 250 songs. Those are probably the two worst songs I ever wrote, and those are the ones that ended up being released as 45s. Isn't and that funny? Yeah. yeah. But, but your group is called WTF? Is that WTF, one of your groups? Tell us about that. The West Tampa Four. WTF, I love that. Uh, uh, Joe Lala, who used to sing with uh, Blues Image and was the percussionist, and he was with uh, Stephen Stills in Manassas. He sung with uh, the Bee Gees, with uh, Rod Stewart. I mean, he's played on all these people's albums. You, you go into his house, he's got a ton of platinum uh, albums and stuff on the wall. Right here in Tampa? Right here in West Tampa. Wow. And uh, he uh, and myself and a guy named Tony Garcia and a wonderful singer named Brenda Ayala, who used to sing background for Jody Messina. She sang on her, her uh, albums as well as uh, on, on tour with her. We just got together because we had all been singing with a group called the Famunda All-Stars. I, I remember that, yeah, that, the Famunda. You know what that, that stands for? Famunda right, My Balls. That's Famunda, what we Because we were noticing yeah. the side pipe Famunda earlier. Balls. Famunda My Balls, that's what, we, we, what it stood for. From the Fomunda All Stars. Fomunda, the side pipe. Before so earlier. we broke away, and, and the side four pipe. of us started a little side singing pipe. group. So you know, we're looking side for pipe. gigs, man. You know, you guys side are all connected. Pipe. Side, what is it? Side pipe. Side pipe, yes, yeah, a little side pipe. Fomunda. A little side pipe. <laughs> <laughs> not, not to cut you off or anything, but that's I was, all right. I was thinking about but we hadn't even started. How could you? <laughs> You're cut off, Daddy. What, what, Why is she what, blushing now? Because no, 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 you I'm noticed not, the side not, pipe oh, earlier. Gosh, no. I, I, was, I was about to ask you. you what, what, what is it we need to do to get you to croon for us tonight? Chuck can uh, play it. You, you have access to it, Chuck? No, no, no. We like it no, live. No, no, no. I can't sing it live. can't sing it live unless oh. you have the music. He's going to try to get it out. We, you know, no, we, but Chuck. We're, 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 right way, we're working on it. We still have a little audio issue with the yeah, cable, that, uh, but I'm pulling it up now see if we can get some of that on. He's trying to get it up. Oh, we work the right way. What did I load that weapon on my own, didn't I? Oh, you know? <laughs> is an issue trying to get We're it up. We're pulling right? it up. Uh, We're trying to told you earlier, it. I like to keep you waiting, but you know. <laughs> but but for WTF, what type of gigs are you looking for? Well, like? you know, private gigs, uh, private parties, people's houses, uh, like when the crews have parties, we like to play their anniversaries and stuff. Fundraisers. And small venues. Birthdays? Sm yeah, birthdays. And, and small venues, like if we're going to play pubs and stuff, it would be a, a small venue. We don't want to play the big places. We played at uh, Lowry Park Band Shell on uh, May 21st. They had 1,200 people out there for the Cystic Fibrosis uh, fundraiser, and that was a lot of fun to go out there and sing in front of them. And then we played for uh, the Florida Blue, and we played, played for a politician's campaign. Our first gig, we had only learned eight songs together, and this guy calls us and says, I'd like to book you for my fundraiser. I so said, we only know eight songs. It's all you need. So we went and did eight <laughs> songs and got a couple of gigs out of that. So I want to actually mention something that I found hilarious because I heard it on Glenn Beck's show, and, and, I, and I had later than heard it live. But this man single-handedly called out Ronald Reagan's son on a live interview yes. and wanted to kick his ass. Like... We actually Ta had Teddy on that. after that to talk about it. Ta on one tell of us our a little bit about that because yeah. I heard it on Glenn Beck. I didn't hear it that morning. I wasn't listening to the show that morning, but it was Be believe, amazing. Believe it or not, it, it, it has nothing to do with politics, okay? It's got nothing to do with politics. Here's a guy yeah. that has disrespected his father as far back as I can remember. Here's a guy that his father, when he was running for president, was in New York City across the street from his apartment doing a fundraiser. His daughter flew all the way from Los Angeles to be part of that fundraiser, and that son of a bitch wouldn't get up from his apartment and go across the street and do something for his father. Well, that's fine. You don't have to go tell the world that your father was the greatest dad in the world. If you feel that he wasn't, that's fine. You don't have to say it. But damn it, don't go out there running down his memory, and especially on the anniversary of his 100th birthday, right. to go out there and write a book and try to make money off a dead look, guy look at this by de look at de this defaming cube. him. You know, so I, I called out. him an asshole, which is exactly what he is. You know? <laughs> On the air. Called him an asshole. Uh, great. And they called him something else that I believe the FCC came back and said they couldn't prosecute on because they'd never heard the word before. I don't remember. The, 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 whole, no, the whole thing, it, it just got out of hand, and then he says, well, you know, one, uh, if next time I come to Tampa, I said, get your ass over here right now. I'll be goddamn if I'm going to get this my ass beat by wow. a ballerina. Ballerina. You know, he, he, he danced with the Joffrey <laughs> Ballet. you got to get past know. the girls first, then, and, and, and he hasn't seen us go Jersey Shore uh, yet. Oh, no, we can Jersey Shore absolutely. on his ass. We can. But you're, but you're like, I mean, that was hysterical because... It, it made national news. It was well, on the blaze. He goes, he goes on C-SPAN two days later and tells the whole story and says 
asshole on C-SPAN. He talks, he, he mentioned Jack and I, which, you know, we owe him a great deal of, uh, 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 for that because we don't have a, pr a promotions budget at the station because it's hard time. <laughs> Jack and I page each other at fucking, uh, you know, different clubs. It's so-and-so, you know, just to get our name out there. But uh, he goes out there on C-SPAN and talks about it. Next door, I'm getting phone calls and uh, emails from these newspapers all over the country. I go, what the fuck's going on? So, wow. Reagan went out there great. and talked about it on C-SPAN. So then they talked about it on networks. I, I got a call from O'Reilly's people, but I didn't want that thing to go any further. I just let it go, you know? Yeah, you well, don't want to do the O'Reilly factory. You, you, you're in radio for a long, long time, and you don't want that one moment to yeah. define you, you know? O'Reilly. <laughs> Well, good but he you. is an asshole. No, I'll but no, that. but you really stood your ground. I was freaking proud, and, and it was a Tampa boy kicking some ass, and the Cuban totally wow, came out big time. Got a lot of email on that, bro. I bet you did. I bet you did. So you're active on Facebook. Tell us a little bit about that, because you're. That's a you're pain in the ass. I'm about ready to <laughs> drop that. Let me tell you what, man. I got like 5,000 people out there, right? <laughs> Every day, I go to my web page and I go to the uh, profile page. Is Ted Webb an asshole? Is Ted Webb gay? Is Ted Webb, you know, all of these right, little, we were about little that things, little viruses that they sent out. So finally today I said, fuck it. I closed down my wall. I can post. You can't post. So you deleted the ability. Change your goddamn password. You know? Yeah. So you deleted that. Because we were talking earlier about people yeah. stalking us. And <clears throat> I, had a, I had a friend request the other day from... Courtney Cockety Cox Cox Cox, a UF grad, <laughs> with and she had pictures and I'm like, really? Well, they're fishing. They, they well, what was that. the person that friended you? Um, Harry Balls. Harry Ballsack. <laughs> Harry Ballsack. Harry Ballsack. <laughs> Harry Ballsack. And we were just talking earlier before we were live that uh, he needs to shave those because nobody does. wants to cough up a wig. I yeah? Nobody wants to. I mean, that's like <laughs> hair in the grout. Here we go again. Hair in the grout. No, uh, hopefully he'll shave them. But you didn't. You didn't accept his friend request. No, I did. I, I did mean, you? It was, it was, was, it was such a unique. Pic? Yeah, that was that was cool. How yeah. was his profile pic? Were they I didn't go. To, I didn't go to his profile page. I just accepted him as a friend, and every now and then he posts on my page. But of his hairy balls, or? I, well, no, it's it's he. Th he shaves them when he posts. No, no nobody balls. wants that. No, 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 no. So, but you're a single man, and 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 we talk. Guess he's single. Guess he's single. I don't guess he. But we talk a lot ladies, about ladies, dating in our book. He's a yeah. single man. His single balls man. are clean. I hate dating. What? <laughs> Do you know that his balls are clean? He just said he doesn't like hairy balls. I assume they're clean. Are your balls clean? Very much so. Thank Very you. much. Yeah. Good. No, I didn't know if there was a pre-checking, like TSA at the airport. We I don't have know. any screening at the door. Oh, I was just going to say. I was not that suggesting you did it. it. Oh, it's beautiful. It. I, mean, we'll I love how you can just access. Once we're off the air, we'll, we'll take a little look-see if you like. Well, you can do it now if you want. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> I'd have to change the rating on the show. We'd have to start all over again. They love do. So, going so tell us about dating in Tampa because you, you know, know it's it's um it's a pain in the ass it really is for, for me you know and I'm I'm gonna tell you why no, because please do. if we could just go out and I could thrash you you know don't, don't, don't I don't want to go there but you know I mean Wait, if, 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 we, could that, that, if we could do that if we could do that if we could do that if I could go I, out with her and, and thrash her, it. and then next week come back and thrash you and her, no, but be cool with it, then that's cool. I could date the both of you. That would be the ideal dating. What happens is when you're a photographer, when you're a photographer and you're dating a girl and you've gone out with her, say, like three or four times, you've already thrown down a few, she almost feels like, you know, she's got her, her, um, her stamp on you, the you know, clothes, her claws, claws on you. So what did you do today? Well, I had a photo shoot. Uh-huh. Was she nice? She was very nice. She had bigger tits than me, you know, and then they start with it. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm they start with that. That's, see, everybody's nodding. What the hell? So, so you're saying if Ew. you could just thrash somebody one week and thrash somebody the next week, everything would be fine. What a wonderful world that would be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you're crooning, and I was no, thinking No, you know, it's, it's, uh, I, I, I don't like that commitment. Right now, if I don't want to go to a fucking wedding, I don't go to the goddamn wedding. If I don't want to go here, I don't go there. I don't have to go to your right? mother's house to eat because, you know, she's an asshole, but she's your mother, so I got to go with you. I don't do that. I go where I want, I do what I want, and I fan my nuts the rest of the time. I don't give a shit about Side that. Side pipe yeah. fanning. Side pipe fanning, very important for a single man. It yeah. is. I think. Well, I'm beginning, I'm beginning to understand why you're still single, Ted. <laughs> hey, there you go. 
No, no, no. I, I want to be single. I, I don't, I don't and that's want. That's the difference. Yeah. I, I, as people say, yeah. aren't you lonely? I go, no, I'm alone, but I'm not lonely. But I get to fan my balls. I get to fan my balls. Yeah, all the time. Sometimes somebody. I tell you what, if I had balls, I'd fan them. You'd too. fan them. You'd oh, yeah, them. Be with, with, with what you got, you could have all the balls you want, baby. Oh. <laughs> we we know that. I, I, we I, actually, but we know that, don't we? If, we know if that. I had balls, it would probably be like dog balls, wouldn't they? Dog balls. <laughs> <laughs> it's a terrible thing about getting older too. What really? what is that? They drop. They drop. Do they? Yeah. It's so like do women, you have, women's breasts. Do you have do you have that little lip kit on your toilet seat? No, not yet. Balls don't drop no, I like to refresh them, you know. Oh, good. <laughs> I've had people say that dunk. water in your toilet is it's cold. like a little dunk tank. And deep. A little dunk tank at home. <laughs> <laughs> Who, what are you showing on that? Vi- what He's is that? A, a, That's a a Dancing in the Moonlight. Unfortunately, I can't get the audio to play. It's a br- beautiful oh, okay, song. Yeah. The West Tampa Four, you know. Oh, okay. okay. Or as Teddy says, WTF. WTF. So you yes. don't have the lip kit? No, I don't. Not yet. Well, probably another 10, 15 years or so, you put like a two-inch wooden platform in between your toilet seat and, and the porcelain. And, and that keeps them from going... It keeps them from dropping in the water. Beautiful. This way you're not wiping off your balls. Water? So Why didn't I think of that? Well, so it's, it's, a, it's a lift kit. <laughs> we, need, we need to patent that, I think. That's what we're, we're missing the, the boat on that one. We need oh, to patent that. No, no, no. we, we'll Where do you it. hang out, Teddy? Where do you go... Um, Where's your place? Purple Where's your pudding. place to go to? I, I go wherever we're playing. Uh, I stay at home a it's lot. Purple pudding. Uh, when I do go out, it's usually to go get something to eat, to go catch a movie and stuff like that. I'm not a clubber. I don't like to hang around clubs. But there's not a Tampa, uh, there's not a restaurant in West Tampa that doesn't know him by name. No, no, no. You know, but, well, the, but, but the, the nightclub thing, I'm, I'm over that right now. I really I am. Do you, I mean, have, do you have some nicknames? The Root. Mm-hmm. I, I've heard about that. Can you explain that? Because I have heard about that. When Just I was... When I was in um, in high school, a Jesuit, I was a sophomore, and uh, I could always talk to the parents. So, you know, it was easy for me to go and meet the girls' parents and stuff like that. So they had this one girl. So you could that, sweet talk them. Well, she used, to like, she, she used to like to pull trains. I'm Beg sorry. She used to like to pull trains, two or three car loads. Per- you know, permiso? I'm sorry. Hi! Hi! I mean, you even lost. <laughs> sorry. Oh, so you know. <laughs> oh, so she was doing like Did anyone tricks? else know what that yeah, meant? Can I ask the question? Is she was doing hat tricks. A boxcar reference, or was it a. Did you get that? <laughs> oh, hat tricks. I am so The young guy thing. in the room. Come on, seriously? <laughs> I should so, know um, that by now. So I went and picked her up in one of the guy's cars. And, Were you uh, like at the back of the train by then? No, no, no. I, that I, thing must have been no, dirty no, 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 by no, no, that point. They, sa- about they a sent comedian. me to her house to pick her up because talk I could talk comedian. to the parents. So I, was, I drove the car, picked her up, met the parents and everything, and then went to this gas station where the other four guys got in. And since I was the youngest, they had me sit in the back of the station wagon. We drove out to Clearwater where this guy's parents had a uh, little flat out there. Flat. And uh, so they said, since you're flat. the youngest, you're going to go last. And I said, hell, why, you know, why not? You're, you're, you're in ninth or 10th grade, so... ninth or 10th grade? So I waited... Is this the Tampa first Catholic? No, it's Jesuit. Oh, so Jesuit. The, the Academy. Two, is this first, the Academy? No. First two guys... <laughs> oh first two God, guys I spent go a lot of money on that school. And they can't make Jesus. anything happen because of the I'm sorry, anxiety Jesus. performance. So Jesus. they were all just staring at each other. Jesus. And then when I went in and I came back out, then one guy, Anthony Peroni, looked and he went, The root. So that's stuck. <laughs> the root. The root, yeah. the root. Wow. The root is on fire. fire. Dude, there's yeah. no hair on the ground. <laughs> the you root. And I are on. We were so thinking the it. same thing. That was the root from then on. What else was, do you have? That was it, really. Just the root? Was, that's it. That's the only one that's stuck? Well, it's hard to shake it. Oof. Oof. So I, I didn't know the whole train car thing. I was lost there. Oh, yeah, well, sure. you know, that's because... You've never heard that before? No, I never. That's like, the, that's like the Mills line. Number one. Number two. Mills well, there's line. no Mills. Speaking the of trains. There's a train. Speaking of trains. That's the, uh, the, uh, Quiet. There's someone smiling. 730 Amtrak. Talking about trains. Wow. That is awesome. That is just perfect. Truly. I mean, for time, Chuck, where do talk I about the secret. You talk about like self prophecy. The magic prophecy. of live television. I it's love beautiful. It. <laughs> Everything's shaking. We like, see. You, you want to do that again? The camera thought very highly of that. <laughs> the tongue is already out. I'm done. Yeah, I am. I don't know. I'm like, what else, Ted? Tell us something else. Something to leave the audience with about you. They hear you in the morning, and you've got to be a little more conservative in the morning. 
Unless you're kicking Reagan's I'm, ass. I'm, I'm, you know, everybody says that, you know, you're a right winger, you're this and that. But I'm, you can't define me because I... I'm all over the damn place, you know? You are I'm, all over I, the damn place. I am. But I'm, right I'm, now you're hanging to the right. I'm to the right. To the right. What did you go? <laughs> well, I mean, no coincidence. Let's just, let's just put things into perspective here. I mean, the you geographically can you want, but you're hanging right. right right now. Absolutely. Well, I'm right-handed. There you go. <laughs> so get back to your seriousness. I'm sorry, I just had the button there. No, it's, it's just that I'm, I'm all over the place because I feel one way about this, another way about that. You know, it's hard to define me uh, as to what I am. I am de definitely conservative, but I'm also a freak, you know? Oh, nice. I'm con up that up should be a bumper yeah. sticker. Ow. I'm conservative. Conservative freak. But <laughs> I am definitely a freak. I'm conservative, but I'm also a freak. Yeah, I think they, they've mislabeled the Tea Party people that way, though. That, you know, that's they get the bad rep for it all the time. I I've never met a Tea Party person that was a freak. Never. They're all like, oh, I've they're like middle class, middle of the road, you know. Yeah, but they're all, everybody has a fr everybody has freak in them, don't every, you think? Every, everybody has a freaky side. In everybody it. does, don't they? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I think so. Yeah. You, when, yeah. You when you it's look at somebody, it's discovering that that makes it fun. That's why. Yeah. When, you <laughs> <laughs> when you look at somebody. Don't you want to discover the freak? Don't you? When you see someone, do you like size them I up can and tell. say, I "Can you tell, tell me oh what? Yeah, what can, what can you tell?" What do you think her freak is? I'll tell you if you don't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I, I've never, Ow. you know, checked that out. But I mean, I can tell that there's freakiness in there. I know there's a lot of freakiness in there. No, we weren't talking about me. No, we weren't talking about me. What do you think her freakiness? Come on, give it a, give it a, look, give it a shot. I think she <laughs> likes leather. Ooh. Mm, haven't done that yet. You haven't? No. Really? What are you doing I'll have after to the show? I'll, I'll, I'll have to lend you my cat whip then, eh? Hey? Yeah, I've never done leather. I'm telling you, you, this one right here. What this, do you think? This Tell. One, this one could scare you. Because she's Pisces, see? And Pisces is like hidden clouds. By the way, he's already Daydreamers. read my whole astrological. Are you a Pisces? I beg your pardon. I mean, you know me seven years and you're asking me if I'm Pisces today? You're a Sagittarian. I don't. Right? I'm Sagittarius, yeah. yeah. He's done my whole astrological chart. Has he? Oh, yeah. Yes. Wow. He, he even had me ask oh, yeah, mommy yeah, yeah. The, the time I was to born. To quote the staple singers, she'll take you there. Mm. Wow. Ooh. What about, what's the Sagittarius thing? Sagittarian, man, is uh, wide open. It's a nature lover. Why? No, 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 wide open. No. No, no nature wide open. Nature lover. Oh, I'm sorry. Was I know. It, was it this? <laughs> no, honey, no. Clam. Yeah, what like is that? Clam, my man's in the audience. Clam. Clam, oh yeah, my man's in the audience. Does it come with a tune? <laughs> no, 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 no. But nature lover. Yeah, nature lover, outdoors, athletic, and, and, and a Sagittarian. Stuff that comes out of your mouth isn't always the way that you, that you mean it. You can say, like, God, I love that shirt. It hides your fat ass. When what you're trying to say is, a shirt makes you look skinny, man. I like it. You know, but it, it I, comes yeah. out differently. I you know? know people get offended sometimes. It's true. I've never known her to speak her mind like that. Never. No, no. <laughs> doesn't help that I'm Cuban at all. You know, I know her so well, she doesn't even have to say it already. Right, she's exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. You're finishing that thought in your head, you know. Mm. Yeah. So, so what do we have coming up tonight? We've got the Pin Up Girls. Pin Up America, starting at 8 p.m. At 8 p.m. That's right. Great show. Uh, oh, love Great it. Show. They new are, show um, tomorrow. New show tomorrow. We have the... Um, terrible the Terrible Truth starting at 2 p.m. Oh, I like that. The Terrible Excuse Truth. Excuse me, 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Uh, our young interns take the microphone, and it is a nice. uh, college radio crossover here to uh, IPN. Kick ass. Is it rated? Is it filthy? Um, is it I, I wouldn't say filthy, but we're definitely going to have to like do a PG-13, I think. I believe That's there, how we uh, started. Oh, there, there, radio. Well, radio. Radio. for the middle of the day, I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll discuss that. But, what time uh, is that? Tomorrow? And then, uh, uh, three three o'clock. And if all goes well, tomorrow morning, 11 a.m., the uh, Internet Chronicles, hosted cool. by yours truly. Uh, excellent. Yeah, good. we're good, we're good, going good. back to talking about internet geeky uh, techy things. So that's been uh, highly requested lately. Excellent. That's good. good yeah. stuff. Ted, thank you. I've we love you so much for doing this with us tonight. Anytime, and man. I've had a ball. We know yeah. that you're Let's a bad young lady. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are really thank really you. honored. The studio audience here at uh, Ebor City, thanks you. The roots. The roots is on fire. The roots is on fire. <laughs> and with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to sign out on another OSP night. tube. See you Say next good week. night, ladies. Great See you oh, by the way, Ernest Hooper in two weeks. Dean Akers next week, a published author who's amazing also. So. Oh, fantastic. Make we're sure you turn in next week. We'll be here right back on the IPN Network and OSP tube. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night.